and also now uh, change my channel from the using the beta flight um, lower script. So I think yeah, BTX setting that you can see right now on channel R3. So if I change to back to channel one, and I think I have to save page. Okay, so now I have to go back to channel R1. Yep, I'm on channel one right now. So how cool is that? No more smart audio. Nice. Uh, well, that was I think about just like a, a month ago. Uh, that was me changing the channel, my uh, 53 switch back using my Radio Master Zoro and Betaflight Lua script. Um, I just got a brand new Radio Master Boxer yesterday. So um, I've been playing around with it and one of the things that I wanted to do, uh, one, th one thing about the, the Boxer is that they have these six position buttons. So I always wanted to find a way if I can change my uh, channel using these buttons and finally after fiddling around and reading the manuals and going through some some other videos i managed to do that so just to show you guys so i have my um yeah i have my uh bio to switch back over here and i have my goggle hooked up to my monitor let me just power on my um switch back So right now, um, I think I'm bit mode. So let me just okay. So as you can see right now on channel R1, okay. So in my position, uh, this uh, this buttons. This would be channel number three. So if I press that, as you can see now, I'm no longer. I lose my video feed. I have to go to channel R3 and yep, now on channel R3. So next button I've assigned it to channel 6. So similarly now I have to go to my goggle, change to channel R6. Yep. So now I don't have to go to beta flight raw script. I don't have to go to the uh, beta flight OSD menu. I just use the six position switch buttons on my radio to change my channel. So I'm going to show you later on how I configured my Radio Master Boxer the, and also some of the things I need to do in beta flight uh, in order to set this up. Okay, to, the first thing that we need to do is to set up the radio. So in order to do that, we just go to our model page, uh, go to the mixer tab. So scroll down to channel 11. Now for this radio, um, uh, I mean you can actually assign it to any other channel, but I'm going to use channel 11 for this. So I'm going to tap once. So I'm going to call this uh, mixer VTX. So I mean that's the purpose for me to actually change the VTX channel. So I'm gonna call it VTX. Okay, I'm gonna use the alphabet C to denote channel. C and then okay so this is going to be for the channel number one so I'm going to call it VTX C1 now the next one the next thing you need to change is the source this is very important so by default it's rudder but you have to change this sorry not this one Let's go up again okay I have to change this to I have to scroll all the way to the left and then go back to the right and then let me see okay there so there's S1 S2 S3 now S1 is actually for the 
this one, these two ports switch and S3 is for the six button uh, six position buttons so you have to select S3 okay, the next thing that you need to change is the switch so just press you have to scroll down to you find yeah so S3 as you can see right now if I press the second button you see that the the the, the thing changes to S3 2 so this is S3 1 S3 2 S3 3 so we're gonna assign this button for channel 1 so that's position S3 1 so that's done with so if you go to return now if you go back to the mixer now you can see that under channel 1 I have this one new mixer which is for the six uh, position uh, buttons S3 and for position button number one now uh, I can create another one but the easier way to do that is just long press the scroll wheel and then you just copy this and then yeah so just edit so I'm gonna change this to channel 3 so for R3 by right I should have changed this to R3 so at least that's correspond to the wristband yeah should do that so I'm gonna call it R3 I'm gonna change the other one too later on so yeah R3 channel 3 so and the switch is this one so I'm gonna assign uh, button number 2 for uh, channel R3 so that's done with Return. Uh, yep. So I'm gonna change this again. I'm gonna change this one. Like I said, instead of C, I should change. Okay, that's done with. So um, you just need to again just copy this, then edit. So you get the idea. So uh, the next channel I'm going to use is R6. channel 11 I have all this thing assigned all the buttons assigned to these different mixes so that's the first part the next part we have to go we have to hook up the our quad to beta flight on our computer or our laptop so after configuring the mixer in the radio you can verify it you can go to um, the channel monitor in the radio so I'm um, sorry if I go to channel yeah 11 so you can see if I change I press all the six position buttons see the value in the channel monitor changes so that just to verify that the channel 11 is working properly with the buttons so the next thing that thing that we need to do is I already have my 583 switchback quad hooked up to my computer to beta flight so we just have to go in go to the receiver tab so just to check that uh, we have the radio properly connected to the quad on the receiver so you can see that I have all this working so uh, in the radio we have configured the mixer in channel 11 but in beta flight configurator the six position buttons is actually out seven so if you see just watch out seven position one position two position three position four and five and six so the values um, will correspond to the six buttons 
okay so so once we verify that it's working next thing we need to do is I prepared this VTX table uh, post it up in the uh, description for this video in YouTube so all I need to do is just copy this go to CLI and paste it and then just hit enter and then always remember once you do that type save and you should reboot um, okay so with that after that all you need to do now is power on your quad your goggles and test it out so if you're wondering how I came out with the table or this BTS table actually came from the HD0 manual so if you go to HD0 website uh, under the download section you have the HD0 VTX user manual uh, right now it's version 0 0.5 and if you go to page 21 of the manual so you can read up how the VTX table works so we have this section over here uh, where uh, it shows how we can use the CLI command to assign for instance on this part uh, to assign a three position switch to to change the uh, VTX uh, power so I've done that for all my quads with HG0 VTX so three position switch position this one the first one is 0 milliwatt 25 and then 200 milliwatt so is uh, and then with the latest or uh, the tutorial that I did just now now you can also change the channel using the buttons so the table is I, I figure out using this this description so I don't want to go in detail you can read it up and maybe figure out for yourself what all these numbers means so happy trying if you have any questions uh, you can either post it up probably in my Facebook group the DV math group or you can post it up in uh, the comment the comment section so happy trying and happy flying